Goodbye, cold. See you later. It's open till 11, we're gonna get food. That's a big line. It's marble. Yeah. Did a quick change. We're gonna get dinner, but here's a very quick room tour. I don't know why they gave us two beds. So we have two beds. So we're gonna push them together. Fancy marble floorings. Everything here in the fridge is for us. Like you don't have to pay extra because it's all inclusive. So they have some dos equis. Oh, this interesting orange drink. Coffee. They have 24 hour room service. I got a little rose. I don't know why. And can't see much because it's dark, but here's the view. And the beach is somewhere. So, yeah, very fancy. Wait, is there, is there a Bible? It's the Bible. Alright, I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you guys. I'm gonna leave the camera here, so. Alright, we're back for dinner from dinner now, but I wanna show you the washroom. There's a tub. There's where you go pee. And this is the shower. I'm a sinky. I think this is a hair dryer. Yep, it's a hair dryer. And they have the soaps. Cool. This is the closet. There's a scale, <laughs> and then and then this is the thingy. I don't know what this is for. It's a shoe bag, and you oh they gave you they have a sewing kit, sewing kit, and a little shoe sponge and sandals which I'm gonna use right now, and towels and crap. Hey, you gotta use these sandals. You paid for them. I wore them backwards. It's pretty uh, moist in here. Morning. Um, I'm going downstairs to get some breakfast. It's about 9 a.m. There's a 5 to 10 minute wait for breakfast because it's really full. so many things to try and um, I had to control myself because we're gonna be eating lunch and dinner tonight because the restaurants are all they're all um, first come first serve except for one restaurant where you have to book it in advance sorry the lights are not on here um, so we're gonna go to every restaurant so my partner has been here before so he knows the ropes I have not but this is very exciting and I think, um, I don't know if he wants to go to breakfast, but if he does, I'll go with him again, I don't care. But we are gonna go to the beach. Holy shit, I'll show you the view here. So that's that, I've never been to a beach before. Well, I have when I was really young, but oh, it, it's been like 20 plus years, so I'm very excited and it's very sunny, so. Whoa.
got our own beach bed. my drink. I don't know what it is, but oh, it's a mochito. Good morning. It is day two here. And uh, no, not day two. Day three, technically, because day one, we just did a lot of traveling. So it's day three. Um, we're gonna go to breakfast together actually today. I didn't vlog it, but we did go to the beach. Like, um, we just did a beach walk because the waves were too strong and it's a little bit dangerous to actually go swimming in it. Especially for me, I'm not a strong swimmer. Some people were swimming out there, but the waves were strong. They could pull you and push you, so uh, what else we do? We do, we do. Um, yeah, we chilled at that cabana thing. Uh, we had lunch, we had dinner, and um, there are some events tonight that I would like to go to. So they give you these like daily activity sheets, and today there is like couples yoga at 12.30. There's live music, violin, I don't know if I can even see that, I'm just reading it out, but this is the sheet. Um, tonight I want to see this Dream Girls live music, because I don't know, I like Dream Girls. I don't know if it's the same idea, like, you know, Dream Girls with uh, the movie with Beyonce and stuff. Who knows? Uh, there's a DJ party at night, and those are the two things I would like to go to. They're late, 10 p.m., 11.20. Don't know if I'm gonna vlog that. Here is the view. I haven't really wanted to take my camera out because I don't want it to get really sandy, so you guys have to be stuck in the room. <laughs> I have been taking my phone out sometimes, but for the most part, I keep my cam all the electronics I have indoors just to be safe. But look at those waves. Yeah, and it's really sunny, so that's good. It rained a little bit yesterday, which but it passed really quickly. Goodbye. Oh, we came back into the room, and it's Valentine's Day today, so... Wow, there's chocolate. That's cute. <laughs> this is a little funny. It's so cheesy. Alright, my makeup is kind of refreshed. Um, so we're gonna go for lunch and then we made reservations to this hibachi place at 7, 6 o'clock. So I guess we gotta budget our hunger for that. Um, it's about 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, yeah, it's been a really good trip so far. I've never been to a place like this where you just pretty much lounge and do and eat whatever you like and drink how much however much you want so I've been drinking a lot um, but I find that I haven't been getting drunk I think because they limit the amount of alcohol per drink I don't know I don't know um, but I've been eating so much and I'm probably probably gonna eat one of those chocolates over there so all right we're gonna go for lunch now and I'll talk to you guys later okay I did burn myself I don't know if you can see that but this is red I never used to burn, so maybe I do now, or maybe the sun was really strong. Oh, there you go. See that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the place we're going to. We're just walking around. Wow. 
We're going to the Dream Girl show. It starts at 10. It's about maybe 9.15 right now. So we're just chilling out here. And yeah, and then afterwards, it's a DJ party, which is probably a dance party. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bring you a camera because I might lose you. I just finished having breakfast and I'm walking on the beach. Oh. I didn't bring my camera, so I'm using my phone. time because it was like the coldest, snowiest it's ever been. So everyone's just saying it was perfect timing. It's lots of CP. Our resort is down there, but I'm going for a walk um, all the way down there. I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but I'm enjoying this. I have my shoes off. I'm just walking by the shore. gonna go to our last dinner right last dinner at Italian place More shoes.
for you. It's Saturday morning and I'm back in Canada. Yeah, so I don't remember if I vlogged anything landing. Probably not. Uh, we just got we got back past midnight and then we went straight to bed. So yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna be working on some art before I upload this vlog. So at least there's a little bit of art in the vlog this week because it's gonna be mostly Cancun. I had a good time. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit because I'm making some lunch for us. I'm just working on some Toronto comic stuff while I watch a movie. The movie I picked is The Visit. It's probably, it's, it's like a horror. I think I've heard about it. I just kind of watch it passively while I work on some coloring. In the high school, I fell in love with a substitute English teacher. Quite a scandal. Never mind, this is so bad, I want to change it. <laughs> I already know what happens anyway, I got, I, this was kind of spoiled for me in a review from Half in the Bag. Uh, I want something horror. What's this one? It's best if it's in English, like I don't mind watching international movies, but when I'm working, I'd prefer English so I don't have to read looks like it's in English. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna watch this one. What's it called? Night World. Wow, it's already 9 o'clock and I've just been working on flatting the Toronto Comics pages. I wanted to do some drawing and more editing but I promised myself I was gonna um, do some comic pages. There's uh, seven pages which is not a lot but they're quite detailed and flatting takes forever. So I just finished one page I'd show you but I don't want to show the whole thing. Um, flatting one page for this takes me at least an hour and a half and I get distractions and stuff with videos and shit like that. So yeah, it takes, takes quite a bit. Once I'm done flatting, shading doesn't take very long. Flatting is the longest process when you're coloring comics. I really wanted to get work done on my comic, my own comic, but I've been quite busy with this. I'll get this one page done and then I'd have two done tonight and I can work on other stuff tomorrow which for Sunday. I'm also planning on doing a stream on Sunday so yeah. The Netflix movie I watched called Night World, very bad. It's like room tier bad but not as good as the room in terms of bad movies. Oh it was so bad. I would not recommend you watch it. It's on Canadian Netflix. If you are bored and just want some noise, just put it on. Um, and if you want to chuckle now and then, go ahead. Um, it was funny, when, at one point in the movie, the guy was like making conversation with his friend. And he's like, his friend is a writer or whatever. And he's like, yeah, you should read this book because he knows a lot about character building, which is ironic because it was obvious that the, the writer or director was trying to character build his characters in this movie and he did it so bad. I'm not a filmmaker, not a screenwriter, but for a layperson, it's not very good. <laughs> it's now 11.30. I just finished altering the pencils for this. I didn't know if I wanted to continue with it. I worked on it um, just before we left for, for Cancun. Um, I don't know if I, uh, anyway, I, I didn't know if I wanted to continue with this itself because I felt that the composition wasn't very strong, but um, I'll think a little bit more more alterations and I, adjustments and I can, I'll be able to work on, I can't talk anymore, sorry. Um, again, I just felt that the composition was very boring, so that's why I, I'm kind of hesitant to put all the effort into it. Um, I think the shapes on this end are good. The girl and the cat, really nice. I was considering just getting rid of this girl, but I think, again, just a bit more adjustments and I will paint this. So I'm gonna work on it tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna crawl into bed and just like watch stuff and then I will continue working tomorrow. What I did want to do is talk a little bit about Cancun. I mean, the footage itself was fairly self-explanatory. I enjoyed my, my trip. It was a very good trip. Again, I've never been to like a, a resort like that. And we mostly stayed inside the resort. 
uh, my partner said that we could have left the resort and went to the strip where there was a bunch of clubs and stuff to shop like you can shop stuff you can shop for stuff pretty much go to clubs but that's not really our scene I kind of wanted to go but I also enjoyed just staying in the resort um, so yeah it was really good um, I hope you enjoyed the footage there. I really enjoyed my time there. Like I said, I didn't really uh, film much with my camera because I was afraid of getting it damaged. There's already like um, a stain on this camera. If you notice it, you'll notice it now. It's somewhere sometimes when I film like a blank surface. I'm pretty sure it's a piece of dust that I cannot dislodge and I'm very mad at it. But I don't think much people notice unless you start noticing it now. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about Cancun. It was a really nice time. Um, just kind of the only thing that we couldn't do was swim in the beach because, again, it was dangerous and I didn't want to risk it. but there's gonna be some in this vlog um, still very happy with this side not totally happy with this side so but I think it's good so I think I am going to use the sketch by the way all right so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna finish editing it I'm gonna upload it and then um, I will be streaming tonight around six or seven i don't know if the vlog can be up by then but i hope you guys have a good week i hope you enjoyed the vlog it's probably a little shorter but i hope you liked it so i will see you guys next week have a good week